What's wrong, yo? What's wrong with uh, white girl Osiris, bro? Yo, this thing, this, alright. This dude looks like a fifteen years old guy, man. But he, it's alright. But anyway, but um, I don't know if you guys saw the video that uh, he was falsely kissing Natsuki. I know, but um, what I understand, what I uh, realize, hey. No matter what you do, no matter who you are, how much money you have, you know what I mean? Like, nobody has that, you know, shouldn't shouldn't have, you know, the right to just go and assault you like that, you know what I mean? That's how I see it. That's how everybody says it. But um, I think uh, YK was there to do that to, uh, to, to, to that lady. But um, the problem is... I mean, even though some people were saying like, oh, yeah, um, Suki, uh, uh, like, project herself as, you know, as a sexual person and stuff like that, but she didn't give you permission to do it, bro. I know she was giggling and laughing, but I'm pretty sure it's because she's nervous or, you know, you know, sometimes, in the meantime, you don't know what to do. So, I'm pretty sure that's why she was just, like, laughing. I don't think, but, but I know, uh, pressure from social media i know this dude is, is, is broke because there's always a uh something about him that uh you know recently like i know he had performed uh for um uh he had to perform for um drake so you know you know you know you know what's crazy you know people are gonna say it. i know people are gonna say it. you know they're gonna be like okay why Nobody tried to help her. Try. Nobody tried. Yeah, nobody tried. For sure, nobody did. And like there was two men at the table. Nobody did anything. And then, so I just don't understand why, why would make you feel that way to come up to a person and falsely kiss. Like on live television, bro. It's, yo. <laughs> That's crazy. But he not even Drake, my G. Wow. You know, they never learn, bro. They never learn. So, like, imagine, like, right now. Because, you know, if people going to say stuff in the, you know, in social media. Uh, they're going to pressure her to, you know, sue him. What if he, she went to the, um, to the police? And got him arrested. What if that happened? You know? It's sexual assault. That's a big deal. As of right now, since men have no rights right now in this world, and for you to... Yo, bro. I don't understand. And like me, I always tell, I always tell people that are close to me, men that are close to me, uh, I always be like, yo, in this day and age, this generation right now, since men have no rights to say anything, um, I'm gonna say something that might, you know, offend somebody. So I, I always, I always have men that are close to me. Once you hear the woman started getting aggressive, you know, her voice raised. And she in your face, you know, you like you could sense that she wanna attack you. I'm not talking about her, her situation. I'm I'm just giving a scenario how men should react. You know, you gotta you gotta treat her like when she started being you know belly joint like you know, in type way. That's when you start you gotta start treating her as a police. You know, like because you know, for you to win against a woman. You gotta have concrete, uh, I say concrete um, evidence. So the only way, cause like people are gonna believe her anyway. So the only way, just like police, like is her. You know, the only way for you to to not go to jail if something happened and nobody's witness it, you gotta record her. You know, that's what I would do. Once she started getting, you know, starting 
you know, if they hang, gesture in my face, you know, start raising their voice. Well, I'm I'm picking up my phone and record it. Because that's the only way. If you did something and then call the police. Even if you were to, if you even if you was defending yourself. Even, look at um um uh, the case of Travis Woodruff. He was defending his family and his like he was he was defending his family and he went to jail for two years until now. People saw the videos, people people saw, saw what she said. Nothing matters if they didn't have any videos. Just like now I remember um the baby uh, um um situation with her uh, ex uh, with his ex. You know, they were arguing in the house and then he started recording her. Cause he got a lot to you know to lose. So any wrong move, even if he was in defensive mode, he's gone. So that's why he had to um make sure like he record her because like, just in case police came, then he could see the video, you know, because like we all know as a black man and everybody's gonna, you know, take her side. So you gotta make sure you, you come with concrete proof. Anyway, I hope um YK Osiris, young man, probably like 25, young dude, boy. It's not a way to do it, man. That's not a way, man. It's not a way. It's not a way, and it's not a way for a man or either vice versa. You know, you got no rights to do that. You got no rights to do that. I feel bad. It was a joke. Because they was them to do it. But he went and do it. Now he got to face the consequences about it. You know how it is, bro, with sexual assault. <laughs> you might lose your fan base. You know what I mean? You might, you might, they might start a boycott. You know, your music, your shows, you know what I mean? You don't want that, bro. Once you start making money, you got to move different. You know, that's how I said. Well. It might cost him a lot. I hope he learned his lesson. Because it's like there's, there's people that's really upset about the situation. And you know, they was gonna be putting out, you know, black men against black women. There's always this conversation, you know? And it's not right, man, G. It's not right, bro. Anyway, God bless. Everybody is going to watch the video. And God bless America.